Hello and welcome to our presentation on Birbista, a significant figure in the history of the Dacian people. In this video, we'll delve into Birbista's history, his relationships with neighboring peoples, demographic data about the Dacians, their traditions and ancient way of life, and some of the notable discoveries and inventions made by this ancient civilization. According to Strabo, Birbista was a powerful and ambitious ruler who united the various Dacian tribes into a single kingdom. He expanded his territory through military conquest and is reported to have captured several important cities in Thrace and Moesia. Strabo also mentions that Birbista was a skilled military strategist and a formidable opponent in battle. In addition to his military accomplishments, Strabo notes that Birbista was also a patron of the arts and a patron of philosophers and scholars. He is said to have supported the study of mathematics, astronomy, and other sciences, and to have built a number of temples and other public works. Strabo was a Greek geographer and historian who lived during the first century and He wrote a detailed account of the geography and history of the known world at the time. History. Birbista was a king of the Dacians who ruled from around 82 BC to 44 BC. He is remembered for his military prowess and for unifying the Dacian tribes into a powerful kingdom. During his reign, Birbista made significant territorial gains and expanded the Dacian kingdom to include parts of modern-day Romania, Hungary, Serbia, Bulgaria, and Moldova. Relationships with neighbors. Historical sources suggest that Birbista had complex and often hostile relationships with his neighbors. According to Strabo, Birbista expanded his kingdom through military conquest and is reported to have captured several important cities in Thrace and Moesia. This suggests that Birbista was willing to use force to assert his power and control over neighboring territories. At the same time, Birbista is also reported to have formed alliances with other rulers in the region. For example, he is said to have made a treaty with the Roman Republic, which granted him a measure of protection against Roman expansion. This suggests that Birbista was also capable of negotiating and cooperating with his neighbors when it suited his interests. It seems that Birbista's relationships with his neighbors were shaped by his desire to expand and strengthen his kingdom. He was willing to use both force and diplomacy to achieve his goals, and his approach to his neighbors likely varied depending on the specific circumstances and goals of his reign. Demographic data. According to Strabo, the Dacians were a warlike people who lived in a harsh and rugged environment. They were skilled in both agriculture and warfare and were known for their strong and agile horses. Strabo also mentions that the Dacians were divided into a number of tribes, each with its own leader, and that Birbista was able to unite these tribes under his rule. It is difficult to estimate the size of the Dacian population during Birbista's reign, as there are no reliable population figures from this time period. However, the fact that Birbista was able to expand his kingdom through military conquest suggests that he had a large and capable military which would have required a substantial population to support it. It seems that the Dacian kingdom during Birbista's reign was a populous and culturally diverse region, with a strong military and a complex political structure. Education and training. There is limited information available about the education and training of Birbista. However, it is likely that he received a traditional education in the ways of his people, including training in the arts of warfare and leadership. As the son of a king, Birbista would have been expected to learn the skills necessary to succeed in battle and to govern his kingdom effectively. This would have included training in physical health, weapons handling, strategy, and other military skills. He may also have been taught the customs and traditions of his people, as well as the laws and governance of the lands who ended up becoming the Dacian kingdom. In addition to his practical training, Birbista may also have received an education in the arts and sciences. Strabo, wrote that Birbista was a patron of the arts and a patron of philosophers and scholars, and that he supported the study of mathematics, astronomy, and other sciences. This suggests that Birbista valued education and may have received a more formal education in these subjects. It is likely that Birbista received a well-rounded education that prepared him for the challenges of leadership and military strategy, as well as the intellectual and cultural pursuits of his time. Traditions and way of life. The Dacians had a number of cultural traditions that reflected their way of life, including festivals, customs, and religious practices. Artifacts from this period, such as pottery and jewelry, 
suggests that the Dacians had a rich and varied culture with a strong emphasis on artistic expression. The Dacians are known to have produced finely crafted metalwork, including weapons and jewelry, and they are also believed to have had a strong oral tradition with an emphasis on storytelling and music. It seems that the Dacians during Bjorbista's reign had a strong and vibrant culture with a rich tradition of artistic expression and a deep appreciation for the art of storytelling. The Dacian way of life was centered on the family and the community. They lived in small villages and were known for their agricultural and metalworking skills. Despite facing challenges from neighboring peoples, the Dacians maintained a rich cultural tradition and way of life that continues to be remembered today. In their daily lives, the Dacians valued hard work and practicality, with a strong emphasis on self-sufficiency and resourcefulness. They were known for their close-knit communities and their respect for nature and the environment. Discoveries and Inventions There is limited information available about discoveries and inventions made during Bjorbista's reign, as the sources that mention him are primarily focused on his military and political activities. However, it is likely that the Dacian kingdom during this time period was a technologically advanced and innovative society. The Dacians are known to have been skilled metalworkers, and they are believed to have developed sophisticated techniques for working with iron and other metals. They produced a wide range of metal objects, including weapons, tools, and jewelry, and are known for their finely crafted metalwork. In addition to their metalworking skills, the Dacians are also believed to have made significant advances in agriculture and transportation. They are known to have developed effective methods for cultivating crops and raising livestock, and they are believed to have had a strong and effective transportation system, including roads and bridges. Overall, it seems that the Dacians during Bjorbista's reign were a technologically advanced and innovative society. With a strong tradition of craftsmanship and a sophisticated infrastructure, According to the Roman historian Ertens, Decenia was a close advisor to Birbista and played a key role in the consolidation of the Dacian kingdom under Birbista's rule. He is described as a wise and influential figure who was respected by the Dacian people and was able to offer counsel to Birbista on a range of issues. Decenia was a priest who lived during the same time period. It is not clear from the historical sources exactly how Decenia and Birbista were related. It is likely that De Sinu was a trusted advisor and confidant to Birbista, and that he played an important role in the governance and administration of the Dacian kingdom. The historical sources suggest that Birbista and De Sinu had a close and influential relationship, with De Sinu serving as a key advisor to Birbista and playing a significant role in the consolidation and expansion of the Dacian kingdom. According to the historical sources, Birbista was assassinated in 44 BC, the circumstances surrounding his assassination are not entirely clear, and there are several different accounts of what happened. According to the Roman historian Cassius Dio, Birbista was assassinated by his own soldiers, who were unhappy with his rule and conspired against him. Dio writes that Birbista's soldiers killed him while he was on campaign, and that they then divided his kingdom among themselves. Another account, recorded by the Roman historian Appian, suggests that Birbista was assassinated by a group of Dacian nobles who were unhappy with his rule. According to this account, the nobles killed Birbista in his sleep and then divided his kingdom among themselves. A third account, recorded by the Greek historian Plutarch, suggests that Birbista was killed by a plot orchestrated by the Roman Republic. According to this account, the Romans feared that Birbista was becoming too powerful and sought to eliminate him as a threat to Roman interests. The historical sources provide conflicting accounts of the circumstances surrounding Burbista's assassination. It is not clear which version of events is most accurate, and it is possible that the truth lies somewhere in between these different accounts. In addition to Strabo, a number of other ancient historians have written about Burbista and his reign. Here is a summary of some of the key points that these historians have made about Burbista. Cassius Dio was a Roman historian who wrote about Burbista in his Roman history. Dio notes that Birbista was a powerful and ambitious ruler who united the Dacian tribes under his rule and expanded his territory through military conquest. He also mentions that Birbista was a skilled military strategist and that he had a strong and effective army. Plutarch was a Greek biographer and historian who wrote about Birbista in his lives. Plutarch notes that Birbista was a strong and capable leader who was able to unify the Dacians and expand their territory. 
He also mentions that Birbista was a patron of the arts and a patron of philosophers and scholars, and that he supported the study of mathematics, astronomy, and other sciences. Appian was a Greek historian who wrote about Birbista in his Roman history. Appian notes that Birbista was a powerful and ambitious ruler who expanded his kingdom through military conquest. He also mentions that Birbista was a skilled military strategist and that he had a strong and effective army. Overall, these historians present a similar picture of Birbista as a strong and capable leader who was able to unify the Dacian people and expand their territory through military might and cultural patronage. They also note his interest in the arts and sciences and his support for scholarship and learning. Thank you for joining us for this presentation on Birbista and the Dacian people. We hope that you found it informative and helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family if you found it valuable. We'll see you in the next one.